Go. Hello, Mr. Harry, Mr. Ryan, are you right? Yeah. Okay, let's talk about a very simple problem. Yeah. Top K free con elements. So we call this numbers one 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 two two three. So I want you to find out. Give me an answer. That the, uh, the top two, top two frequent elements. One two. Exactly. Look, one appears three times. Two appears two times. Right. Mm -hmm. So, what data structure is very useful to count how many numbers appear mm -hmm. how many how many times? If we, if we want to count the numbers. The elements and the frequencies. Counter. Counter exactly. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so if we do this counter, C equals counter. Counting numbers. Okay, so what does it give us? This is to be easier. It will give us a C is a dictionary, with the key one appear three times, two appear two times, three appear one time. Right. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. Exactly, yeah? the keys are the elements. The values are the frequency they appear. Eh? 1 appears 3 times, 2 appears 2 times, 3 appears 1 times. Right, counter so we equal, want the... Counter equals dictionary. Yes, yeah, uh, kind of, yes. Counter is like a wrapper for the dictionary. So it gives us the dictionary, which has the keys are the values. The Values will be the frequency. So basically, we want to count. We want to find. We want to sort these item. This item by the values three to one, right? So the top two are three two. So we want to return this one and two. Yeah, the order does not matter. Okay. So the counter. The very interesting thing about counter is that we provides the method called most common. Yeah. What does it mean? What does the most common mean? So let's say look C dot most common. If we give it a two, then it will give us this, right? Because these are the most common. If we don't give it any parameters, it will return the orders, right? So it will return these, 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 right? Okay. So we give it most common two. So then you will return this. Then we but we need to return these values, yeah, these values. Okay. So now now that that will be very useful. Okay. So then we can just do this. Okay. We can just return return what? Okay. So it, it, because we want to return one and two uh, at least, yeah. So we want to return i for i j in c dot most common k okay so c dot most common k returns the the items c dot items in the order of the values which is the frequency and then i the first i items the i will be the value the, the number the key right will be these numbers. The J will be the frequency, right? Okay? Yeah, makes sense? Yeah, if we don't give this value K, then you will return everything by the order of the frequency, okay? Okay, so funny enough is that the counter does not have provide a least common, yeah? Yeah? It does not provide the least common. So, so look, if I, uh, this number C, C will be, let's say, C will be one, three times, two appear two times, three appear one time, okay? C the most common, yeah? Most common, K will be this. If we don't provide this K, then you will return the frequency in, in order, in the items in order will be one, three, two, two, and three, one, okay? So, if we want to get the least common, which side? Okay, so look. C the most common sorted the items in the order of frequency. So which one is the C dot which one is the least common? Everyone, come on. Which one is the least common? Uh, uh, that one. Yeah, exactly. So we sorted, right? So C the most common. It's, we can do this. C is the most common. Uh, we don't give it any parameters, yeah? Remember we don't give it any parameters, it returns everything and then minus one. Yeah, that would be the C, uh, uh, least common, okay? <clears throat> okay, the, this is using the most common. If we don't use the most common, we can sort it. We can sort it the C dot items, yeah? So, so we can just sort the C dot items. So we can just say 
Well, let's say A equals sorted C dot items. Right? C dot item. We want to sort the C dot item. C dot item is one, three. Is an array of items. Yeah? Two, two, three, one. We want to sort these C dot items. But by which key? By which number? Which number? We want to sort the C dot item by which number? This is the number. This is the frequency. We want to, we want to sort the items by the frequency, right? So here we, we will pass the key equals lambda lambda p p1 p1 means the second number right yeah p is the item and then obviously we want to sort by default the sorted is from the smallest to the biggest but now we want to sort it from the largest to the smallest so we pass another key called uh, reverse equals true okay and then we can just return return what uh i for i j in a up to k right because it's in reverse order and each one is the item so it's i want to return this value yeah okay this is the, this is the second method we sort it yeah by sorting the o and log n right obviously they even like n items right all right you with me yeah. right you with me okay okay so what's heap you mentioned about heap what's heap remember what's heap Fasting priority out. Uh yes, yeah, that's one kind of the it's not exactly the same thing. Yeah, but you mentioned a very good point. The first thing priority or let's that let's call the priority queue, okay? Priority queue are based on uh heap, but uh, you know, usually based on binary heap. Heap is a binary tree. The root will be the smallest or the biggest, right? By default the heap in, in Python, heap q heap q is the smallest, the root. It's the smallest, so it could be one, two, three. Look, well, this root is smaller than the than the kids. Two is smaller than five, six. Three is smaller than seven, eight. Right, something like that. And the opposite is would be the max heap. Okay, but the Python heap q is the smallest kid. Meaning that root is the uh, is the is the smallest. Okay, so then we can use the we can push these items into the heap. Right, so we can push the item into the heap. Uh, let's put it in the A. Eh? So we want to push these items into the into the heap. So for PV V in C dot items. Yeah. C dot item and heap heap Q heap push heap push A. I want to push what? push the key and value yeah? we can push the key and value now let's push the value because it's the frequency it matters we want to we want the heap to to maintain its order by the order of the frequency so let's we do the do the v but but the thing is that we want to find out the top k frequent uh, element right the frequency should be from the largest to the smallest but the python the heap queue as i said is from the smallest to the biggest can you think about working around Right? So can you think of working around that, that could link could work for the heap queue? Do, do you get it? Look, heap queue is from the smallest to the biggest, right? But I want it to maintain the order from the largest to the smallest. One good way would be to to neglect negate the sign. Okay, so let, let's put the minus v and yeah, minus v k. Okay. Now I have the key key and I want to do it. I want to I want to pop k elements out of the heap. Then that would be the la top largest, top k frequent elements, right? Am I right? Okay. So now I want to push push it up. Okay. So let's say this answer. And I want to do this for underscore in range k, yeah, range k, and I want to push push it the. Uh, underscore because I, I don't want to use this value I just want to use the numbers k in heap pop a right and then answer dot append append k return uh, actually I don't I don't uh, we, we can't use the k this the, the k is already used that's called value okay and then return answer so look, 
C dot counter, yeah. And now I, I go through the items and I push the I push the values. A pair, a tuple, a tuple or tuple, tuple, tuple. Sorry. Tuple. 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 The the key tuple, first element of tuple is the inverse of a frequency. The second value is the it's actually value, right? Why we don't why we push the negative v, right? Why is that? Because the heap q by default is from the smallest to the biggest, right? It's the small we call it mean heap, right? Mean heap. In order to change the mean heap to max heap, huh? Then we the the best way the quicker way will be just put a negative sign, right? Because look, one two three. If I put a negative sign to to it, you, what will we become? Minus one minus two minus three. Yeah. Look, one is bigger, smaller than two three. If I put a minus, what happen? Minus one is the biggest, right? Do you get it? I want to check. I want to reverse the order. the The quickest way will put the negative sign because the frequency is the always a positive number, right? It's a positive number. I put a negative sign, then I reverse the order. That's what what we do. This minus v here, and then we just go through k times. Put pop the smallest element from the heap and push the value. Yeah, push the value. Okay. So look, look. This thing, this thing can be used. Can be can be can be replaced by by one of the heap function, which is for heap n largest or n smallest. Yeah, we want the n largest. Yeah, so n largest. So we we don't need to put a negative v here. So we can just return uh, heap heap dot n largest. The first number is how many you want n k. I want k. Right, so which which is the heap? The second parameter is the heap, which is a. The third third parameter is i key key equals which key you want the item getter. Okay, this is similar to the sort function item getter. Let's which which one we, we want to base it, uh, which which key is it the first one or second one? So because we we want to base on the first one, so let let's put it a zero. Right, so we want to basically this is saying that I want to extract the n k largest from the heap based on the first first item, which is the v, and it retrieves the item right because in the heap it stores the tuple, so we we just need to return i. Uh, we want to return the the second value yeah, so j for i j in heap dot n largest okay heap dot n largest is the to get n the first parameter is n which we want the k top uh, k largest the second parameter is the heap the third parameter is the key like a sort, sorting function right which we need to provide it as a item getter zero means that the tuple we want to the heap based on the first element instead of second element. Second element is the number. The first element is the frequency, right? Yeah. So if we put the minus v here, then it will reverse the order. Then we we can change this to smallest, right? And smallest, right? Yeah. Make sense? Does it make sense, everyone? Mm -hmm. So what have you learned today so far? Uh, uh, Top k frequency. K frequency so. How many methods uh, do, do we talk about? Which one you think you, you can remember or you can understand better? Which one you think you, 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 is easier? Counter. Mm -hmm. Counter, then we can sort the item. The first one is obviously very easy. Most common, right? Mm. Yeah, it gives you the name, most, most common. Most common, right? C the most common is sorting the items by, by the frequency, by the value. The second method, we sort it by ourselves. We sorted the C dot items, right? By the by key equals the the uh, P lambda P P P square one, the first uh, which is the frequency. The third method, pushing it all to the to the heap, uh, pushing everything to the heap, right? Pushing everything to the heap. And then we get we get it we extract k times, that which will be the top k frequent elements, right? Yeah? Okay, the fourth uh, method, which is the n largest or n smallest. Yeah? 
these are easy to very convenient to use okay mm -hmm. but the, the key thing today is key thing today is that counter yeah counter now we want to solve the item which is key value pair by the value value which is the frequency okay okay that's it for today bye 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 bye, bye.